I was going to warm up some uh, beans I cooked the other day. And I was like, you know, I want some more than just a bowl of beans. So I was like, BAM! Let me get me a tortilla. Let me warm up my beans. And got some ham hock off in there. Some beef sausage off in there. Some goodness in these beans here. So I'm just letting them warm up and bubble a little bit. And then once I'm done with them, I'm gonna slap them inside a tortilla with some cheese. I'm gonna have me some lettuce on the side. Watch it all come together. Watch it all come together. Spare the moment throw down right here. You never know what's gonna happen at dinner time. <clears throat> I've already cleaned off my countertop. But you gotta have room to roll this sucker up. I'm just making sure it's separated right now because I don't want them to dry out on me. But if anybody can make this happen. But that pot of pinto beans I made was so good. The first night I had four bowls of beans, y'all. So you know they was good. I love onions, so I'm gonna slice me up some onion to put in my burrito. some salsa somebody made me it is so hot a toothpick you put a toothpick in there and put it on your tongue you can definitely feel it so I'm gonna add a little bit of that just a touch just a touch my burrito got my cheese in here the meats already in the beans one last wipe of the counter Got my gigantic tortilla there. I've looked everywhere for these at your Kroger, at your Albertsons. I forgot to go to a Latin or Mexican store. That has them. And these are those la compat la compatera. Acampara. Campra. Campra. Alright. <clears throat> Got that. Go ahead and put my onions in there. I would put some peppers in there, but the beans are already spiced. Put all that onion in there. Got the ham hock, got the fat of the ham hock. Got the fat of the ham hock in there. All that's going in. Mm. More pieces of meat. Now you can't stuff your, your burrito too full. Cause if you do, you're gonna you're gonna pop it. So hold on, let me get my little touch of sauce. And I'm using this very sparingly. That's what I'm using. That's how hot it is. That's how much I'm I'm putting on my uh. 
That's how much I'm putting on there. So that's how hot that salsa was. You see I got it sprinkled on there. Now we're getting ready to put this cheese on there. <clears throat> and call it a day. Got to come with the cheese. So after you got your burrito built up like, like so, you have to grab it, fold it, tuck it. Hold on, I can put some more beans in this. Hold on, hold on, I got too much space. I got too much space. I'm gonna go ahead. Don't cheat yourself, treat yourself. That's what the dope dealers used to say. And probably still do. More cheese. So we're going that way. Hold up. Let me bring it back, y'all. Bring it back like that. And fold it and roll it. So you got you one big wrap riddle. This goes over right into the pot. Seam side down. A few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and do it like that. Beans, sausage, ham hock, and cheese, and onion burrito. Shut your mouth. That's how we do it in Texas. That's how we do it. Just a few seconds on that side, a few, you know. Just want to make sure that cheese is melted. So you can turn your heat off. Get my plate. And watch it come to life. Watch it come to life. Get a little bit of lettuce like that. Scoop it up like that. Plate it like that. <laughs> what y'all talking about, bro? That's how you do it down south. Start it out, you're just going to have your bowl of beans, right? Well, now you got your... Uh, Bean, ham hock, sausage, onion, and cheese, burrito. Now watch me slice into this for you.
Look at that. Look at that, y'all. <laughs> oh. Beans. Cheese. Onion. Ham hock. Beef sausage. And lettuce on the side. Mm, mm, mm. Gotta dig in, y'all. Bean and cheese. I hope that's getting on there so y'all can see it. Bean and cheese. That last gift gift is a crunch. Mm. Mm. beans and cheese with ham hock beef sausage mm. and the heat from the hot sauce I sprinkled on there only thing else I need is, is a napkin y'all and we out <laughs>